According to the East African Bribery Index 2012 report that was released yesterday, Uganda won a gold medal due to the highest levels of bribery. Police, the judiciary are some of the institutions that are alleged to be the most corrupt in Uganda. And these are institutions supposed to fight graft. So what needs to be done? Political commitment on the part of the president to demonstrate zero tolerance to corruption. If uh, within a particular ministry, uh, Ugandan taxpayers lose money, you don't need to prove beyond reasonable doubt. If you don't empower financial institutions, you completely invest nothing because you can't give the numbers, you can't reach far and wide, you don't have logistics to chase a case. According to the report, the majority of the respondents who have offered bribes have not been solicited for. The quality of person is missing. So that instead of having a, a ranger, you actually have a poacher. The beneficiary has to think of how do you survive within this system. So, so the people who are, who are paying these bribes are doing it out of necessity, not because they want to pay bribes. Some of the critics say that pointing fingers in this fight will not provide amicable solutions to the problem. Key example of the institutions that are falling prey to the bribes are the police in the entire region due to poor remuneration that comes with a painstaking responsibility to keep law and order that yields sanity in the country. In the U.S., <clears throat> the, the traffic policeman is, will not take you a bribe simply because he knows that if he is caught, he will lose his pension. But if you consider a Ugandan police officer, the rank and file, if he is caught losing, taking a bribe of 5,000 shillings, what, is, what does he lose? Probably he's just sanctioned a bit maybe, uh, and then it ends there. We are aware of this, and we're moving every day towards really satisfying these people. However, the citizens' proactiveness is another way of fighting corruption through which Uganda loses 500 billion shillings every year, according to the World Bank report. Citizens should be able to say, uh, Your Excellency the President, that gentleman you are proposing as minister uh, was a one-time minister for foreign affairs and we lost the money in that ministry. If you appoint him, the next time you come to our district or to our village, we are not going to be available for you to address us. I want the citizenry of Uganda to take charge, to be responsible themselves. For example, to be able to denounce and shun anything related to corruption. According to the ethics minister, he hopes that Uganda will improve in the fight against graft and only time will tell. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.